Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and salam sejahtera everybody Today I'm going to show you how to add online classes via Webex at USM in your eLearn course First, you need to go to our eLearn at USM website elearning.usm.my Please log in using your identity at USM in your email address, your password, and sign. I would like to add the online session to the course PGT436E ICT in Education. So I, you just click at the course that you would like to add the online session. Right. So this is my course, pgt 436 e Okay, so let's say I would like to add an online session under this general topic, okay? On my first box in the course pgt 436 e So I would like to add it here. So firstly, you need to remember whatever editing that you would like to add in your eLearn at USM you need to go to here which is turn editing on after you have click turn editing on the editing tools will appear All right you can see the editing tools these editing tools these editing tools and all the edi editing tools appear so, to add an online session, you need to click at Add an Activity, go to Elon Webex, and this window appears. So, you are adding a new external tool. So, give the acti activity a name, for example, online class right and then you can add privacy if you like if you don't want to change anything just leave it like that you can give grade to the students attendance you can change it into 10 for example if you like okay and then there are some common module setting show on course page or hide from students or make available but non but not shown on course page so i would like you to just choose show on course page and you can add restriction access or you can just follow all the custom uh, this default um, activity here all right and then you say you you save and display Okay, now you are going to have this online classes and you can see here setup and analytics. Now we are going to use the setup tools to add the online class. Okay, you can scroll down. Alright, you can choose your features. Okay, so the features is you can have classroom collaboration or virtual meetings or office hours okay so let me just choose classroom collaboration as well as virtual meetings you can click all if you like or you can just click one okay let us just put virtual meetings all right when you add the virtual meetings you can see later on the tab here will be added one more all right so let us go down all right so you just leave it like that right okay the reminder bot post a message into the webex team so that you know um to to remind you about the webex meetings all right if you would like to make a reminder time you can make it like 15 minutes before or 30 minutes before all right and so on you can also custom the time 
uh, that you require okay after you have done that go up again and apply see after you have applied the virtual meeting appear as one of the tabs so remember just now i just click virtual meeting so if you click on the virtual collaboration uh, or online collaboration you will see four tabs and so on all right so now you are going to set up the class for next week for example so click at the virtual meetings okay see there's no meetings here just yet so go to new meeting right so host choose host center so you are going to have a meeting training or an event so i just put training for example okay you can also put it as meeting it's up to you so i'm going to put training as my class name okay um online session one Alright, so please put the meeting date. For example, I would like to do the class. My class is on Wednesday, 18. Okay, at 9. Okay, 9 a.m. Okay, and then done. Alright, so if you would like to do it every weekly, you can do it weekly or if you don't have oh sorry duration okay my class will be two hours so i'll put it two hours zero minutes all right and then if i'm not going to repeat it just put no repeat if you are going to repeat it weekly put it weekly right so uh, for this time i put no repeat and then i create meeting Right, so you can see now, okay, you can see now, you have upcoming and past meetings. So you have online session one, I'm the host, okay, instructor, duration two hours, and then a date 18 of March 2020. Okay, so this is the meetings that I'm going, meeting that I'm going to host next week example so let us see how the students will see this particular online class for next week so if you would like to see how your student will be able to see this uh, session so you go to your dashboard you switch role to click switch role to student See, now under my name indicated that I'm uh, browsing the page as student. So now online classes, online class, right? So it will be here. Okay, let us go to the course page. Okay, this is the course page viewed as student. Right, then this is the online class. So, if the student click at the online class, they will see upcoming meeting here. So, they are not able to click it yet, all right, because it is not, uh, it will appear later on. You just click and they will be able to after you know you have uh, host the online session they will be able to click at the moment they can't do anything okay until you have started the uh, online session okay so if you see the course back to the course Okay, back to the course. This is how the students will view your course. This is the Webex session. And then you can turn to your, return to your normal role. Okay, 
and this is how you view the online class without turning your editing on so if you like to edit some more then you must go and turn editing on right remember okay so that's it for adding uh, webex online class to your course in elin at usm so remember to tell your students that you have the online class here and when the time times come they will click here and click on attending the class okay so at the moment you can't see this just yet because it is not uh, open yet they can also see this because it is not open until next week so for now good day everybody